Hello everyone, Mike Veach here from the Underwater Tribe and today we are bringing you a new short tutorial. This tutorial is actually a, a very quick and easy one. What we are talking about today is putting a watermark uh, um, or, or logo onto a video using Apple's Final Cut Pro. This is a very simple pro uh, process, but what it's good for is, is if you like us, if you like to put your vi short videos on social media, maybe it's Facebook, Instagram, things like that, and you like to put your videos out there, but you want to have a, a bit of uh, branding on it, you want to have your name or you want to have your, your logo on the video so that everyone knows who it is, uh, but at the same time, what it does, it actually gives you a little bit of protection um, from people taking your video and sharing it as their own. Because I mean, although they can still do it, what they would have to do is crop out your logo. So uh, this, this tutorial is very short, very easy, because this whole process is actually a very, very easy thing. So what you would do is once you have uh, Final Cut open, you've got your project, you've got your project, there you uh, have color corrected it, uh, everything else, you, you've done the whole thing. And what you're doing is you are now ready to export. So before you export, what you want to do is a very, very simple process, uh, just like this. The first thing you do is you come in to the file and then go to import, go to media. And what you need to do is you need to look for where your watermark is. And as I click there, what you'll see is that I have that as a .png file. Because what I want to do is I want to have my watermark looking um, opaque. I don't want to have a, a white box around it that you would get if you use a JPEG file. So what you need to do is you need to actually use Photoshop to, to create a, a logo um, with a clear background. What I'll do is I'll, we will link that down below in the description, uh, a quick and easy way to, to create a logo like this in Photoshop. Uh, and once you've done that and you've exported your PNG, it's the PNG file that you will now use in, in Final Cut. So I've now located my PNG file. I'm going to hit import selected. Uh, once that imports, I now have that here in my media library. I will pull that clip from there down here onto the timeline. And obviously you can see that it is now far too large for what I want it to be. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here into the menu. And what I want to do is I want to click on that little square right there. When I click on that square, You'll see that it actually gives me uh, a bounding box around the logo. And what I can do is I can grab any section of that logo now and I can make it smaller. So now that's about the size I would typically want my watermark. I can then just click anywhere in the middle of it and drag it anywhere on the screen I want to be. Bottom right, bottom left, top right, top left. Um, typically I'll use either bottom right or bottom left. Once I'm happy with the size, maybe I'll make it a little bit smaller so it's not so obvious. Get it right down there in the corner. What I can now do is I can now play with the opacity because I, I typically don't have it at full opacity because then it becomes a little bit distracting. So what I'll do is up here, uh, you can see in the compositing menu there, I can then just bring down opacity and say bring it down to about 45%, something like that. You could punch in a couple of numbers if you want or use uh, the slider until it looks good. So let's pop it in there, like I say, somewhere about 40%. That looks pretty good. Once you're happy with how it looks, click over here onto uh, the actual video file itself and click Done. Once I am here on Done, now I actually see what it looks like. It looks pretty good. But if I come over back to the file and I hit play, you'll see that it's not there because it's only as large as I've made it on the timeline. When you first drag it down, it, it will come in quite small because it's, it's more of a, a still image rather than a video file. So I can simply just 
click and drag on each end of the clip. And that way, when I now hit enter or hit play, you'll see that the watermark is there the entire time. If I find that, you know, maybe, maybe I don't want the watermark there the entire time, I find that a little bit distracting. One of the things I also quite often do is I'll, I'll actually keep it small and then select it, control C, copy that, and then come over here, control V, control V, control V again. And now what I'm going to do is, is instead of being the entire video, when I hit play here now, what's going to happen is there's no copyright, no logo. And now, oh, up it pops. A couple of seconds, it goes away again. Uh, and then a few seconds later, it will pop up again. So those are a couple of different ways that you can, you can throw your logo onto your, your video. Sometimes you want to put it on the most important parts. Sometimes you, you, you want to put it in the entire video. It's up to you. And that's it. It's a very quick and easy way to put your watermark or, or your logo on your video. The key thing is, as I say, remember to create a clear background using a .png file. The link to a video on how to create that clear background on Photoshop is in the description below, so make sure to check on that. And if you like this video, please click the like button down below. Click on, on subscribe. If you haven't subscribed to us yet, hit the bell. That will notify you every time we put out a new video. And that's it for this video. Thank you very much and see you next time.